Holy crap, I almost didn't believe it was going to be possible, but Star Trek Very Short Treks actually made a not just good, but great episode. Hello interwebs, I hope you're all doing well, and I'm here to review the latest Star Trek Very Short Treks episode, Holograms All the Way Down, and like I just said, while it was a very long road getting from there to here, we indeed have had a really excellent Very Short Treks, this one written by Star Trek Prodigy writer, Aaron Waltke. And as soon as I heard that Aaron Waltke was going to be writing one of these very short tracks, I knew that this was going to be the one that I was hopefully going to like. But considering the last few episodes, really the entirety of the series so far, which has felt very mean-spirited, felt like it was, you know, making fun of others, felt very untrek like at least to me in those respects, and also felt like an SNL sketch uh, just put on with a Star Trek aesthetic, I was worried that maybe even Aaron himself wouldn't be able to, you know, pull this series out of, uh, at least for me, what's not been working so far about the show, but I should have trusted him because not only is this episode uh, a celebration of uh, Star Trek the Animated Series, which was what these very short treks were initially billed as, uh, this episode feels like a celebration of all of Star Trek because quite literally every single Star Trek series gets referenced in this episode. And they even bring back my boy, Connor Trenier from Star Trek Enterprise, which made me feel so amazing. It's been a long road, but I think it'll be smooth sailing from here on out. Y'all know that while I understand that Star Trek Enterprise has a lot of problems, it is the Star Trek show that I grew up watching week to week, and I have a really, really big love for it. And yet, while every single, you know, Star Trek show has made, like, a reference to Star Trek Enterprise, like Discovery having the Archer shipyards in one episode or Archer space dock NXO one getting uh, referenced in the background of Star Trek Picard season three, or them uh, even calling out Archer at one point in the series. And two hundred and fifty years ago today, the Enterprise NXO one, the first warp five capable vessel to be constructed by human hands. You know, a few other things, like even Strange New Worlds had call-outs to Star Trek Enterprise recently. We haven't actually gotten to see any of these actors return, despite, you know, most actors from most other Star Trek series uh, not getting a chance to uh, appear in modern incarnations of Trek. So it's like, are uh, they hating just on me? So finally to get to see Connor Trenier back uh, on in Star Trek in some way was really great. Uh, and I really hope that this signals, you know, them doing other stuff with the Star Trek Enterprise cast in the, uh, in the future with Star Trek, uh, or at the very least after the SAG After Strike. Ha has hopefully ended and the actors have won everything that they have been asking for as well they should. Anyways, getting back to this very short trek, beyond the fact that, you know, every single uh, Star Trek series gets referenced in this episode, what I liked about it too is that the humor comes out of a very specific Star Trekian thing. Like I talked about with the other uh, very short treks, a lot of the humor just felt like it was something you could have done outside of Star Trek, uh, even beyond the mean-spiritedness of the humor, which felt very un-Star Trek to me. But this episode actually, like, uses the Hollow Deck uh, as like a starting place uh, to create its humor, uh, and and that feels very Star Trek because you couldn't really do that as well in other you know things or just in an SNL sketch or whatever. And it makes references to things like these are the voyages, one of the worst part of Star Trek Enterprise, but then keeps going from there in ridiculous and over the top ways, and just keeps doing the joke and like keeps going further than you expect it to. It is it's just very very funny in all those regards, and just utilizes Trek to its fullest, and and is weird and strange. Like we end the episode with like all the uh the characters like amalgam together which i love when star trek gets weird and the funniest thing about that by the way is when there's that amalgam creature that is created the the artist made very clear to make sure all the women still had their tits <laughs> It's like, you know, we can't have an amalgam creature without these women making sure they still have their boobies, uh, which feels very Star Trek. Gene Roddenberry would have approved, and I say that not joking and in the slightest. Like, he would have approved. Uh, so, so yeah, like, this just feels like it feels joyful. It feels like a celebration. It feels like it could have only been told in Star Trek. It uh, ties into things that I particularly loved about Star Trek, uh, you know, weird stuff, uh, as well as Star Trek Enterprise specifically, but touching upon everything. I also love that Star Trek Prodigy finally gets an acknowledgement from a, an official Star Trek thing uh, because, you know, they've been treating like Prodigy like it doesn't exist since they canceled it and shoved it off their platform. So I'd love to see that, though, of course, Aaron Wolke, who writes for Star Trek Prodigy, would do that. And I also love that the fact that the Prodigy people were just like assets, like this little clip art things. Very funny because they obviously probably didn't have the money to like do 3D animation for this. So like they just use the little clip art assets. I, I thought that was I thought that was adorable. Uh, getting to see Lower Decks people and Tendi there. I always love my Tendi. Like just everything. This was everything. Like 
this just shows me like you can do this type of format with Star Trek, but you really should just, uh, for me, again, I'm not telling anybody how they should feel about the rest. If you like the other very short tracks, that's great. I'm not judging you. But for me, like you can do this in a way that feels to me like Star Trek, that celebrates Star Trek, that feels like it's it's kind and hopeful and, and, and just making fun of the weird aspects of humanity without falling into like mean spiritedness or things that just don't feel very Trek-like about celebrating the differences of others, which the other very short tracks haven't. So this was great. Uh, sadly, next week's episode, I think they'll have at least one or two more. It was not written by Aaron Waltke, so um, I don't know if this trend will continue. Maybe this will just be a blip, but uh, hopefully hopefully there'll be something good going forward from, uh, from this series because uh, this, was, this was excellent.